Really? What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that? What was they thinking? What was they thinking? <laughs> I'm getting tired of these lists. I know y'all too. But I had to get them. Gotta get them, man. I gotta get them. Colin Murray, Josh Allen, uh, Ryan Tannehill, Kirk Cousins, Jimmy Garoppolo. Whoa, this list. They, then y'all got Lamar Jackson number one. Huh? Who just won the Super Bowl? That's what I thought. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't know who's making these lists. But maybe it's time for some reconstruction in the NFL uh, network or ESPN or whoever. Because these lists don't make no damn sense. I'm going to tell you that right now. But we got other things to get into. Just stay there. Say E. A. G. L. E. S. Eagles. Say fly, Eagles fly. going on man you know who it is you know what it is it's your boy fully fresh aka the general air report for duty ah. <laughs> i don't even want to go over the list man i mean it's comical to me shout out to be more uh be more philly man my guy charles smith man aka <sighs> the list is totally disrespectful once again but you you already knew it was going to be disrespectful if they ain't got him on the top 100 Meaning Carson Wentz, meaning Walker Tom Wentz, meaning the Bronco. You know, you know, there's so many names the man got because the man does amazing things. We know this. But what's more amazing is the way he has been looking. I'm just talking about physique. This bull, <laughs> this I, this bull put on some weight, man. Quarantine, quarantine, did some things to him. You know, so. We got some good and some bad about it. You know, I'm not, not really too bad. But my thing is, you know, I don't want the bulkiness to be able to limit to limit his his speed and and him getting out of tackles. And I mean that that could come with being strong like that. You know what I mean? My main my main strength for him to have is to hold the football. That's really the only thing that I need him to be better at is holding the football. Hold on to that football. That's that's where your strength. You need strength in your hands. You know what I mean? So if that came with it, I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? But the mobility, I, I need you to keep that. I need your escapability to still be there. I don't need you getting too big. You know what I mean? I mean, he looks right right now. You know what I mean? You don't want your quarterback out there coming out there looking like Tom Brady uh, on a beach with no shirt on. You know what I mean? But... I like what I see, man. I like what I see. Um, from what I hear, Rhaegar is going to, is being trained for the X and, and for the Z, man. For the X and for the Z. And that might be pertaining to why uh, uh, we, don't, uh, we don't know, but they are training them for that spot, uh, for two for two different spots. They saying Alshon is at the best uh, mentally. I'm just going over some things that I've been hearing coming out of this training camp. Alshon is the best mentally. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool because that's what we need you right now. Because with the loss, and, and I've been saying this when we uh, first acquired uh, Goodwin, with the loss of Goodwin, the only the only um, receivers that we have that's like real veterans is Deshaun Jackson and Alshon. So Alshon does have to step up mentally. He's not gonna be able to step up physically. Who knows how long? They already put him on a pup list. So who knows how long? Um, you know he's gonna have that situation. So we got that. We got the Rhaegar situation. We got Wayne Johnson. I didn't really speak on that. I'm uh, getting COVID-19. I, I just uh, uh, testing positive for it. I just want everybody, it's not the end of the world. You know, hopefully he has a speedy recovery. I hope he does. Um, a couple other players also. I, I, can, I can't remember off the back, uh, the back of my hand right now. But things are looking good, man. Things are looking good. For those that wanted McCoy, uh-uh, not happening, thank you. For those that wanted Nigel Bradham, uh-uh, not happening, thank you. Both of these guys have went to the uh, the NFC South. I think McCoy went to the Buccaneers, 
I don't know if he ring chasing. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna give him that. I ain't gonna give the guy that. You know what I mean? But he did go to the Buccaneers. Um, also, uh, Nigel Bradham went to New Orleans. He went to go uh, team back up with Michael Jenkins. So, you know, best of, you know, uh, best of luck to them guys. But uh, they gotta face us. So we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? Uh, more news, more news. What we got? What we got? What we got? I really want to dive into this list, man. I'm, 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 I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it about a minute and a half. I'm gonna give it about a minute and a half, man. All right. So you got Kyler Murray, number ten. Why? Rookie, rookie. What, what did he do? He wasn't even the best rookie last year. Y'all gave it to him because he was a quarterback. Y'all gave it to him because he was a quarterback. Miles Sanders had a better year. Josh Jacobs had a better year. It's a couple other guys. The list, the list was kind of long. You know what I mean? So, what have you done? Josh Allen, first of all, beat Josh Allen. Dak Prescott, first of all, beat Dak Prescott. Uh, Kirk Cousins, what did Kirk Cousins do? What did he really do? And look what he had. Look what he had. Imagine Carson with them weapons. Just think about it. Just think about it. Imagine Carson with them weapons. Just imagine it, man. You know what I mean? Uh, who, 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 who am I missing here? Like, it's the disrespect, man. Like, I, I don't get it. How? First of all, it ain't just disrespect to Carson. It's disrespect to Patrick Mahomes, Mr. Uh, Mr. Super Bowl MVP, the best guy, the best quarterback y'all saying in the league, Mr. Half a billion dollar man. You, you got Lamar Jackson at number one. How? Where? When? What did I miss? I understand he was the MVP. Just because you're the MVP, that does not mean you're the best player in the league. It doesn't. Like, come on, man. The disrespect will not be tolerated. So, we're going to go through the list real fast. Lamar Jackson, Russell. They got Russell Wilson and Lamar Jackson ahead of Patrick Mahomes. Now, here's what I can say about uh, uh, um, Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, because he played all 16 games, had, an, had did, I can say, had a better year than Patrick Mahomes. I can say that. I can say that. But Lamar Jackson didn't. I understand he was the MVP. That's because it was something new that we never seen before. It was something shiny. It was a new shiny toy. So people want to play with it now. You know what I mean? But it gets old fast. I'm not saying that the league is is, is going to be able to shut him down, but the league is going to be able to catch up to what he's been doing. You know what I mean? And then you get you, you, you get to the laughable stuff. You get to the Dak Prescott. How? When? Why? Why? Because he put up 5,000 yards and had 2,000 yards of uh, receivers. So, what did he do? What did he win? He won eight games. I understand we only won one more than him, but once again, once again, Carson Wentz had a opportunity to go 12 and 4. I've seen it with my own two eyes. We know this, right? And not only that, he was the only quarterback last year to throw a touchdown every single game. So, we know when number 11 and Midnight Green steps on the field, you're guaranteed getting six points out that man. Can you say that for anybody else last year? No, you can't. Can you say that for Dak Prescott? No, you can't. Because it's been it was multiple games just last year. Just last year that he didn't throw a touchdown. But we know these things. But they still want to disrespect Carson. They try to... I don't know who's making these lists. I don't know. They might need to be drug tested. I don't know what's going on. But once again, man, the disrespect will not be tolerated as long as I got this platform. Y'all know how we get down. Uh, a lot of things coming up. A lot of things coming up. Y'all already know what we're doing Saturday. Uh, I'm going to reach out to uh, Bird, uh, Bird Game Sports. Probably have him on. So if you're a fan of him, if you have not subbed him up, subbed him, subbed him up. Uh, try to get him on Saturday. I'm going to holler at him. Uh, things is coming along, man. We got things going on, man. Podcasts is coming out. Just stay, just stay, stay tuned, man. Things are start, things starting to pick up too, man. We got the training camp. We got guys that's going to be cut, guys that's you know that's going to be kept. That who knows, we might not like. So it's going to be things that we that 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 me, Mike, and also Gate City. Shout out, shout out my uh my other uh Battle Bird podcast members. I mean uh guys, you know uh it's going to be things that on these podcasts we don't agree. Well, we don't we don't agree on like. It's already stuff, but I think it's going to get major once things start getting acclimated and people start getting cut. So just hold on. Just stay there, man. We got y'all. But for right now, y'all know what it is. Stay fresh.